Hi, this is Justice, and in this video, we're going to look at Journal. Journal is a new Microsoft Garage project, and it's a second journal app from Microsoft. So Microsoft has OneNote, which is very powerful and a primary focus for a long time. And this version of a journal is uh, very, very, very ink centric. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the R522 button stylus. This is the one I prefer for art and note taking because it has the eraser button right here and it has clean lines. I'm also going to be using the side mode or artist pad from Tablet Pro to add a couple extra functions to the software. All right, so let's jump in. This is really cool. I like seeing garage projects from Microsoft because they are always innovative. And I like when uh, different companies are thinking outside the box. So let's go ahead. We're just going to go through a basic introduction to Journal. This app is free in the Microsoft Store and well worth the money. If you use a Windows 10 tablet and a stylus, then this is a really great channel. We do a lot of innovative product research, development, and reviews on other things, on, on tools and software that will help you make the most out of your tablet if you're using Windows Inc. So if that's you, please hit that subscribe button right now. That's the best way for you to help us accomplish our goals for the community. All right, so when you open up journal, you're going to see here the option of adding a new journal, tips and tricks with journal, and that's private. All right, use this journal to try out tips and tricks. So I like having navigation here on the side that I can scroll through and that's really easy. I like that it's broken up into pages. There is no type text in this program, which reminds me kind of of uh, the beginnings of the program Nebo. Really amazing program, and they, they did really late implementation for text, text support or, or, or keyboard typing support. It always supported text, but it was always handwritten. You couldn't input with a keyboard. So this same thing, you cannot input text with a keyboard as far as I can tell in this program. All right, let's go to the very top. Use this journal to try out tips and tricks. You can see it clearly supports uh, PNG images, which is cool. Okay, so we're gonna scroll with our finger, organize your notes with headings, sample heading. So um, I'm going to press the side button here and erase that. That sample heading just disappeared from our navigation. So in order to create a heading, all we're going to do is we're just going to underline. And you can see sample heading showed up right over here. Okay, when we do that, we can click on this little, uh, they call it a smart, smart ink content queue. So we click on here and it's going to give us a couple options. Copy, copy as text, cut. And this cuts as text, not as a vector path. Uh, send in an email, which is actually really nice and convenient. And search or delete. All right, pretty cool. You can use this panel to navigate, search, and filter. As you can see that over here. Yes, that's true. Star your notes. So right here, I'm looking through headings. If I want to look through stars or starred headings, there's zero stars here right now, but I think this is important. So I'm going to go ahead and star that. And you notice that in my star section, um, let's star this section. I want to remember that and remember this. It's kind of awesome. I, I have to admit, that's really cool. Now let's say I want to delete that star. I'm just going to scribble over it. Okay, pretty cool. Now I'm not a fan of um, ink. Uh, virtual ink. I like virtual pencil, virtual graphite. That's my preference here. So you can see here, you can do that. You can use the side button on the pen to erase. Uh, there is an eraser. Now, right now, this does not seem to retain the size. This is still what I would consider a typical garage project. It's not very finished right now. So there's a couple different things that you'll see. Let's go ahead and zoom in. You can see the line quality is nice, very similar to OneNote. Uh, looks like really the same 
Uh, they're probably using the same technology for both programs. Okay, so we have ink. We can choose between colors of ink. Let's choose this. It's a salmon-y color. It'd be great if they had a trout color. Kind of trouty, I think, that color. Kind of trouty. Yeah, salmon. Salmon. Salmon-y. All right, so here, let me see if we can put a star next to something. And we're going to search by both of these now. And apparently it shows me both sets of results. Not, It's not uh, restricting to both. It's one and the other. Organize your notes around people. So here you can use at. So let's say I want to send myself an email. I can do that. Scroll down here. Select myself. And um, if I tap on this, I can send it. And it's going to send it to the person that you selected in the app. And what that does is that's sourcing the information from my, um, from my Outlook email account and, and uh, connecting the two. It's really nice integration. You can do that with an entire page as well. So let's click right here and we can do copy ink, copy page, copy as text. Um, we can change the order and we can say it, send the page via email. And that's going to have up here, please add at least one recipient. And oh, and I can just populate from here. And I can just click this icon right here and it'll pop, it'll pull up my last 30 um, or 30 top contacts that I contact from Outlook. Hello, myself. Take a shower. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so writing at, this is really cool. This does not give them access to this page. By the way, this is still private which is what this says right here. Select things with a tap. Okay, so I'm going to tap on the word expand and I'm going to tap on it again and it's going to expand. I'm going to tap on it one more time. It's going to expand and expand and expand. And I, I'm actually tapping on the same location. If I tap on a different location, it doesn't do that. Same location. Um, really smart. Really well done. Circle to select. We're going to select that text. Done. And now if I want, I can move it around, which I like. Uh, erase with scratch out. Uh, really makes sense. It actually takes me a while to remember to do that. But it's, it's how it works in the handwriting input panel. But I just forget. OK, scribble out that. You can use the eraser, the back of the pen, or side of the pen if it's supported, uh, or lasso. And then this right here is saying tap on the screen in window. We have uh, this little tool right here, the insert remove extra space. They have incorporated the same thing here with a different name, add space. And you can drag down, add space, add space. Add space. No, no. Maybe I'm too low. Too high. Okay. Well, it worked for me earlier. Add space to make room for notes. Tap on a blank area. Choose add space. Ah, it's only letting me drag down to the bottom of the page. Okay, so tear page. So that just puts it onto the next page. Uh, okay. So anything below that is just going to kick that information to the next page. Got it. Okay, let's undo that actually. Yeah, so you can see this text is, is right here at the bottom. Scratch out. Okay, right here, add space. Yes, we get it. Uh, let's try add space and move up. All right, working. It was me. <laughs> Make a list, automatically recognize your list. So I did this and I was expecting to see something. 
like, oh, okay, yeah, make a list. I I, I made a list. Uh, who? <laughs> it, it didn't, like, I thought it was going to put the dots here for me or something cool. Like, okay, I, I can I can add my own dots. I'm a grown-up, not some snot-nosed 15-year-old who can't own and add his own dots. Yeah, I can make one dot, but two, uh So uh, what it actually does is it is it categorizes that. It categorizes that as a list, meaning if I tap right here, you can see this is a list. And if I click on lists over here, boom, there's my lists, uh, which is cool. So this looking at if you put like one and a bracket or a period, or um, you put these, what? bullet points, <laughs> uh, bullet points, numbers. Okay. All right. Take notes. I assume probably with let's, let's, let's try this. Let's do insert page above and let's try with letters. List number three, a hello B no. C. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it, it, it does show that with letters as well. Cool. Okay, let's go down. Take notes at meetings. If you are signed in, uh, then it will go, it will connect a page to a calendar event or a meeting. I'm not really sure how that works, and I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, share your notes. Um, yes, we can tap on the corner up here and share via email. Um, and then here at the bottom, tell us what you think. Here's what I think. Uh, there's a couple little things that you need to be able to do. Like it needs to be able to retain the information here. Um, here's what I really want. And I'm actually looking for a developer to do this with me or to at least assist in, in helping me get this started. Um, Nebo, which is the other comparative journal to this, it does, um, let me just show this. Checked out Nebo. Oh, here, we're going to launch this, um, set up here, fast note taking, intuitive editing, smart objects, easy sharing, cloud sync. Yes. Draw a line. Oh, I have a pencil. Continue. Okay. Uh, this supports multiple languages. Um, handwriting to text. So cool. Uh, notebook name. Hello world. It's me again. Connect. Create. Empowering your handwriting. So here's, this is a tutorial. Yes, you can scribble things out, you can edit, and you can move stuff around, constant states responsive. Okay, cool. All right, learn how to edit your text, start tutorial, no. All right, here's what I wanna show you. So I can write, hello, how are you? You know, one thing that I don't like here is this is all ink, and I like I like the pencil. I like the pencil for me, that's a big deal. How are you? Um, I'm doing fine. It has phenomenal recognition for gestures, for text like this is super sloppy, crappy handwriting. And it did a perfect job of converting that to text. Um, amazing. So here's what I want. I want to be able to write T-T-Y-L. And then have it expand into talk to you later. I never say talk to you letter or T-T-Y-L, but you get the idea. T-T-Y-L, um, O-M-W, have it expand out. I'd like to be able to do SIG and this expand into watch keyboard tutorial. Um, no. There's my signature. I want to do that with handwriting. 
so that I can program in into my text expansion software, which I use KeyPress OSD, and it's fantastic. Windows key backslash, and I can just add my shorthand, shorthand and click and click add entry, and I'm done. Like super fast, and I have it mapped. I have it mapped to this shortcut right here. So if I'm typing something, I, I don't have to do it more than once. Okay, so here you can see how it works. I want to handwrite, have it recognize SIG. When I lift my pen, it says, all right, I'm going to expand that into whatever it is, um, you know, or I, I do this and, and then I draw underneath it and it expands it out. Who cares? There's a million ways to accomplish the same goal. That is Microsoft. If you are listening, that is what I want your help building, or I want you to integrate it into this beautiful little journal. Um, with that said, how do you expand that out? Um, you might end it look good. Um, you probably need to integrate something else. Okay, font forge, and then there it is Microsoft Font Maker. So Font Maker, uh, help improve, allow, sure, that's fine. So you can make your own text, your own font here that's in your own handwriting. And it takes just a couple minutes. This is free as well. But here's what I want I want to be able to go SIG and then it expand out into my name my address, my web address, in my own handwriting. Is that too much to ask? Yes, but I want it anyway. So uh, if you are a C++, C Sharp programmer, and you want to work on this with me, put, um, send me an email, justice at and, um and let's talk. All right, tips and tricks for journal. That was it a while ago, and then I ranted. Uh, if you guys, <clears throat> if you want what I'm talking about, this whole concept of handwriting that expands into a handwriting font that sits on top of uh, rule lines, and uh, just you can copy it and paste it into another program in a different font if you want. So it remembers your formatting, all of that, that type of thing. That's where I think we need to go. Uh, I also, so in OneNote here, I can use speech to text and type and have stuff written for me really quickly and accurately currently. This should all be a part of the same ecosystem. So you can handwrite, you can also type, you can convert your handwriting into text expansion and you can talk your way through documents, including things like period, next line, new page, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, if you like this video and you like the content, again, subscribe, smash that like button, and thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.